One day I'll make sure you come back to us. You should come to our upcoming Women and Wealth Masterclass happening on 7 September at SACC Shah Alam. Assalamualaikum and hello lovely viewers. Welcome back to Aisha Ramai Advisory Podcast. I'm your host Julia and we have Wan Aisha Rahman, the CEO, your lady boss and your answer to financial crisis. Ladies and ladies, in this episode, we will be discussing one of the hottest debates of all time. Gender pay gap between men and women. Are you ready to rumble? Go. Take yes, those yes. Before we start, we are going to play a game. We have to answer true or false. The first question, women are more likely to negotiate their salaries compared to men. False. False. Next one, gender pay gap is the same across all industries and professions. False. False. Next one, flexible work arrangements can help reduce pay gap by accommodating to caregiving responsibilities. False. True or false, education alone can completely eliminate gender pay gap. False. False. According to the 2023 Malaysia Gender Gap in Index. Women with the same experience, qualifications, and job titles earn only 66 ringgit to a man's 100 ringgit. On average, men earn 63,117 annually, and women drew just 42k. Now, Aisha, how can we tell the viewers what is the meaning of a gender pay gap? Simple aja. Dalam bahasa Jawa dia, you're supposed to get paid this much, tapi you get paid this much. Sakit tak hati? Oh, sakit sangat. What do you think causing this gender pay gap? Well, shallow from some people. I cannot comment about other people but I'm going to comment about what we go through in Asharaman Advisory. Churhat. As someone up and rising in the industry, walaupun dah 3 tahun but people still don't know us Julia and we do our very best to build our own stage, we build our own table, we fill up the seats by invitation only but having said that, we're still being compared to the opposite gender. We have hundreds and thousands of followers. So with that shallowness, where does it come from? Brands who want to collaborate, they would judge us based on number of following but what they don't see is we manage more than 100 million net worth of which they don't ask the other gender yang ada ratus ribu follower berapa net worth yang you manage tapi to us in women and wealth workshop because we're very clear with who we are serving we serve T20 and top and 40 women women like us tapi following kita tak ramai lah sebab kita quality bro kita bukan quantity but with that how does shallowness appear kita selalu you takkan tak tahu you dalam marketing apa bila orang invite kita oh following you sikit ni tapi you charge banyak gini bro you tahu tak qualify Qualification I apa number one kedua you tahu tak berapa net worth kita manage ketiga you tahu tak I ni ratu investment you tak tahu semua benda tu because it's not something that I want to scream and shout maybe we should so a lot of times even baru je jadi semalam at the date of recording ni tak takpelah kita tak nak you sebab kita dah ada Tak nak sudah. We will build and continue to build our own stage. One day, I'll make sure you come back to us and you will pay our price. But for now, it's okay. I tak harap pun you punya bayaran tu because we have our own source of income. That is the power of when you and us in our team are financially literate. Kita tak harapkan manusia. Kita ada Allah kat belakang kita. Allah penentu pemberi rezeki. So it's okay. Continue to reject us. But kalau you kenal I, you tahu when you say no, you akan buat I lagi berkuda dekat apa tujuan I. Tujuan kita apa? Kenapa we built women and wealth workshop to help women be more financially literate and get out of riba yes financially literate is second riba is first sebab bila kita jaga hubungan kita dengan Allah menghormati apa Allah tak suka and that means getting out of riba tengok Allah buka pintu macam mana and Julia walaupun we have gender pay gap even until today kita boleh makan tak boleh. kita nak pergi healing-healing tak bulan depan kita hmm, nak pergi yeah. villa tau I tak berkira so pegang rezeki dekat Allah yeah I can never agree with the concept of looking at the number of followers hmm. instead of the credibility the hmm. qualification I think that is something that you should look into better sebab you sebenarnya nak hire this certain someone for their atau for their dia branding brand. tapi unfortunately brands kat luar dia bukan nak brand sebab tu women and wealth workshop ni is not about apa yang nampak kat luar dia pasal brand sebab tu kelas kita kecil hmm. tapi siapa dalam kelas kita itu korang patut pay attention dia macam ni if you bukan level a mess you takkan faham a mess tu apa ok itu je saya boleh cakap mic drop let's look at facts of course discrimination and the responsibilities between men and women for a man to come back late and 
hustle and hustle and hustle he's called an alpha but for a woman to do the same while at the same time trying to balance her responsibility as a mother as a sister as a daughter you jadi macam perempuan ni Cruella devil padahal maybe that woman dia ada banyak responsibility dia tanggung ramai family members dia yang tengah sakit ke apa kita tak tahu tapi kenapa we cannot label the same between men and women I'm not asking for gender equality but rather the equity part the payroll part it has to be more or less market rate right because we are all carrying the same amount of inflation terduduk kat KL sama-sama tanggungjawab yang sama so tak boleh lah tapi memang benda ni across the world lah sebenarnya it's it's a lifelong thing tak takpelah yakin lah rezeki tu dekat Allah it's okay and then sometimes women ni yang betul-betul ikhlas bekerja diorang ni bukan kaki main politics I used to come from the corporate space and I saw first hand how people I know memang main game politics tapi yang buat kerja kat bawah dia all these women yang hmm. macam boss bagi people don't see ha, that takpe dia telan dia telan dia buat sebab apa tanggungjawab ibadah amanah <coughs> tapi yang dekat atas yang tengah main game politics ni dia janji bulan dan bintang so dekat bosses yang lagi atas macam wow dia ni performer tapi sebenarnya apa dia ni mangkuk ayu yang toxic ni buat dia tengah pijak orang-orang bawah dia dia tak jaga kat dunia you boleh lepas bro dekat akhirat nanti you tengok lah macam mana bila you tak jaga welfare of your team members if you are doing that just for show it will Karma what goes farah. around comes around now Aisha for those who are facing this discrimination hmm. on the gender based Get. What can you advise for them to face this as individuals? Number one, understand and master the art of communications. I know it's hard to negotiate salary, but before you can negotiate your salary, you have to show your worth. Sometimes, if you're offered a certain pay grade because your employer tak kenal you siapa, it's okay, just take it. Get one foot in the door first, prove your worth. You tengok whether majikan you pay attention tak to you punya performance. Then, you will negotiate salary sekian-sekian. Make sure it's market rate lah and have substance to prove your credibility and worth. But if your majikan betul-betul, no, I don't think you're worth that much. It's okay. Satu pergi, sepuluh mari cari kerja lain. But understand that, usaha tu penting dan tawakal dan doa jaga keikhlasan, jaga niat. And yeah. even if you don't work with the higher upper, show your credibility. Because higher uppers akan melihat kalau dia jenis yang melihat. And with that, they will just tarik you, sit down with you. Bukan nak kata kaki kipas ke tak, no. But shine to the higher upper. Find opportunities to shine. At the same time, this pay gap can be met through advancements of education. Unfortunately, in Malaysia, we are still in the bandwagon whereby you kena ada minimum certain credibility like degree atau master for certain role so nak tak nak memang terpaksa buat gitu because why I understand now because when you have education we expect as a majikan I expect you ada critical thinking tapi ada je Julia orang dah interview berapa puluh candidate memang for flat apa semua datang hauk so kita kena tengok balance lah okay qualification will get you through the door for interview dan waktu interview and waktu kerja tu you tunjuk your worth as a person your skill set your attitude because skills can be taught attitude is already in you tak boleh nak ubah. I agree. A lot of aspects come into when uh, you're showing the quality of you as a person. Does it not only show on paper, you have to show it in real life as well. Barang order, barang sampai. Ha, gitulah dia punya analogy. And establish leadership presence. I remember masa dekat Air Asia, I was just executive. But we really manage berjuta ringgit punya project because dengan tourism. So, never limit yourself oh, I'm just an executive. No. Because walaupun let's say my supervisor that time tak nampak kan. Tapi Allah nampak dan Allah buka jalan. So, sometimes kita nak macam aku dah buat banyak ni tapi my manager tak nampak ya Allah nampak pegang pada tu nanti Allah akan buka jalan as long as we do above bare minimum people will see that the quality of your work the quality of you investing your effort into your work tu memang something yang akan ditunjukkan lah di kemudian hmm. hari ok Aisyah do you have any final advice the ultimate advice for people who are facing this gender pay gap is a real thing I'm not gonna deny and it will take a lot of effort to go against this gap but why I waste our energy there. For me, it's a lifelong issue that you and I both kita akan continue to being compared to people with more followers but you know, it's okay lah. So be it lah. We build our own table. At the end of the day, rezeki ada dekat mana-mana. You may think that you are the master, you are the PhD, you kena kerja dekat office. But siapa ajar you macam tu? Remove that limiting belief and percaya Allah ada rezeki kat mana-mana saja. So usaha. Usaha walaupun dari bawah. Tak apa. Sebab kat bawah tu sekejap je. Fa in nama al usri usra. In nama al usri usra. Hatship patut is. Hatship patut is. Allah ada janji dua kali kenapa ragu-ragu dengan Allah problem is that we want things to happen at our own timing no such thing bila Allah kata itu time dia itu time dia kita kena release benda tu and like okay ya Allah you are in control I'm just the vessel use me use me to serve you use me use me and with that even though we have pay gap sampai hari ni Alhamdulillah I'm grateful I'm grateful because it makes us the fighter that we are today that's one thing that I always
always pegang is that where there's a will there's hmm. a way and jangan takut lah jangan takut jangan pernah takut lagi bagus orang tak layan you because you become this underdog yang macam langgar rempuh semua dinding and like ha huh, tak boleh so next and with that ladies if there's a pay gap it's okay janji kita ada income alhamdulillah ada income right and dengan ada income tu what should you do first you should come to our upcoming women and wealth masterclass happening on 7 september at SACC Shah Alam tickets are available at the link below and on top of that we want to give you a free gift which is our ebook path to financial independence retire early which you can download at bit.ly slash Aisha ebook for collaborations email us at marketing at AishaRahman.com don't forget to subscribe leave comments and share this podcast with your family your friends or anyone on your social media goodbye